Hi everyone, I'm Isabel Puyal Asinikay. Uh, gusto gusto ko mag-aral. I used to read books, study hard. Pero sa huli po, na-realize ko na mas masaya po ako kapag kasama ko po yung mga friends ko. At saka gusto gusto ko talaga mag-aral na pati ngayon. Okay, dito mo na yung effect pa tayo. Nag-audition ka ba para sa role? Para ikaw ang nabigyan ng tayo? Actually, pwede po talaga dapat ako mag-audition. So, mga mo lang po talaga ako sa friend ko po na nalaman. Na Pero yung good thing po is that nung tinurong ko sa yung game sa kanila, sobrang open sila to the game. Sobrang madali yung pick up. Nagustuhan nila. So, if they like the game, ibig sabihin na open din yung rest of their generation ng sa game. Para kailangan lang i-reintroduce nila yung, yung game sa mga bata. Okay. Compared to sa napanood sa TV cinema, may nangang din ang tabdaw nila ng anime. Yes po. Uh, nag reach na di naman reach shoot nag shoot uh, nag 3 extra shooting days po kami para mas maging action yung mga games po kasi if anything na uh, babaguhin ka sa film it's really dagdagan ko talaga yung action eh syempre gusto mong fun para sa kid so yun yung yun yung nagdagdagan uh, na kaya may animation eh kasi chroma yung 
background namin para parang if kinalagay niyo yung slam dunk yun diba pag dribble nila colored yung background at yun, ano have an action so yun din yung treatment namin to dito hindi na pa mag direct naman Ah, uh, sa awal ng Diyos hindi. Kasi, uh, at least with these kids, sobrang easy to work with sila. Sobrang madali silang makipag-pick up sa mga emotion na habol mo. Uh, and sooner tayo ako doon. Kasi hindi lang acting yung habol. May action din sila. Kasi lahat sila na perform ng home stunts sila. Eh. Uh, after the theatrical run po, uh, I would like to join more. Siyempre with the new cut. Pwede ba nung ikalat pa nung ano. We just came from China and then last year we had a screening in... Uh, this year we had a screening in Honolulu. Ano po yung sa China? Silk Road Film Festival. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, pinag-usapan namin ng uh, producers na uh, if there was anything we were gonna add, yun po ito dun sa... Bakit po yung nagkaroon ng ganong decision? Uh, well, we wanted, syempre, to increase our chances sa theatrical release. Uh, when we, we all felt, the producers and myself, uh, adding the action, really. Kasi yun naman yung pangalan ng pelikula. <laughs> And then you, you think it, the audience is fun. Uh, yeah, I think there's a market for that. Uh, syempre, hindi naman totally wholesome to him. Ah, okay. May pagka... Parental guidance by MTRCB. G po. G? Uh, hindi siya wholesome in the sense na may mas kulit yung banat namin rather than hug tayo lahat at pamilya tayo. So, mas makukulit na bata. Sa wala namang violence. Wala namang violence. Laro lang ng patentero. Tapos mag-appeal din siya sa ano, older crowd kasi yun, yun yung nostalgia ng family na parents. Yung family parents yung yung nagdaro sila with the game uh, and yung ano, may mga clever adult jokes din para sa mga, ano, mga matatanda sa akin. And then, ah. question lang, paano po yung process ng from Q Cinema and then in-adapt ng TVA to produce it commercially? Uh, well, actually, medyo nakakasal na kami from Q Cinema pa lang. It's just yung reshoots lang yung naging. And finding the right release date po. Distribution. Hindi, yung paano po yung pagpasok sa TVA sa ah, artikulo? Ah, from the start na po. Nandun na yung TVA. Ah, Kasi nag... Di ba ilan kami sa Q Cinema nag-pitch? Sa TVA. Hindi lang ako dun sa entries lang last year nung tinulungan na ang TV sa may Water Lemon, Kaylem Norka, at saka Matang Tubig, Matang Tubig, 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 for na ano, ako yung una. May plana din yung mga ibang. I know a lot of you are wondering what's TBA. TBA stands for Tuko Film Productions which was founded by Sir Nando Ortigas. Bucci Boy Entertainment was founded by Si Ed Rocha, and then yung A stands for Articulo Uno, which really started this whole thing with General Luna, and that's a partnership between si na si Sir Nando, si Ed, and si Direct Gerald Taro. So that explains why it's TBA. In terms of this movie, Tung Patin Taro, it's to call Bucci Boy. We came behind this film during the Quezon City Film Festival last year. It was among the five films that we decided to come behind kasi maganda yung script, maganda yung pitch ni Direct Nick and we thought it's unusual uh, to have an indie that's really for kids. No? As you know, we were rated uh, G, which is uh, peculiar for an independent film uh, and we're happy kasi supportado ng MTRCB kong pelikula. It's really wholesome. Ilan bang indie ngayon na masasabi natin wholesome? So, Anyway, we're happy with that. You know, just to, uh, I want also to bring attention to uh, to bring their attention the fact that the TBA comes behind uh, two things. Now, uh, part of our mission and vision is to really provide a distribution platform for for filmmakers. As you know, marami nang nagpa-fund ngayon. There's Cine Cinemalaya, Cinema One, Cine Filipino, Cine Pampansa, uh, Cine Maynila, The Farm, Quezon City Film Festival, so marami na yun. Uh, I think what we did after Luna, after the success of Luna, again, thanks to all your support sa Luna, uh, is we decided to create distribution platforms for these filmmakers. Kasi ang nangyayari, uh, most of the time is there are all these films that are produced 
and then ipapalabas sa film festival, and then they, they're shown five, six times, and then after that, wala na. And then you, you don't know, wala na rin nag-DVD, so you don't know where to find them. So we, we decided to come up with Cinema 76, it's a micro cinema, we opened it in February, pero ngayon, na nung umpisa, it was really slow, but now, laging napupuno, and nagtutuwa kami na pumunta yung mga audience, and I think we're developing that audience no, for the independent uh, filmmakers. Uh, recently, we showed all the films of June Lana and uh, si Percy Talan, and lagi sila napupuno. So, hindi kami nagjudge na kung husga ng pelikula, uh, where really, uh, not competing. What we want is that sense of camaraderie <laughs> na hindi natin, uh, uh, we're not putting down anyone. So we created Cinema 76 for that reason. Pangalawa, we also created an online digital platform, yung Sinagropa, kaumisa lang ng June. We launched it with Anara Luna online and uh, hindi pa masyadong marami ang pelikula ron, but uh, that's gonna be an exclusive online site for Filipino films, mga indie films, la Luna. Uh, bakit? Bakit namin ginawa yun? Kasi uh, merong mga iFlix, may mga Netflix, okay, good, you know, may mga ganong online sites. Pero wala kasing exclusive na Filipino lang. At saka pang init talaga siya. So, we also created that platform para magkaroon ng revenue streams ng mga filmmakers. And then also, binubuhay namin yung paggawa ng DVD. We formed a partnership with Magda Vision para magkaroon ng chance na yung mga select uh, Filipino indies ma na ilabas sa DVD. Uh, uh, so, na a lot of people came out today to support our little film. So, maraming maraming salamat po. Yeah. Okay, I just want to call our cast para yung mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa kanila. Um, Sige. Kids, okay. Just quickly say hi everyone and thank you like everyone. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta. Please enjoy. Uh, salamat po sa pagpunta. Panahorin niyo po kasi pero alam na namin patalo. Salamat po. Hello po. Thank you po sa pagpunta rin po. Uh, sana po magustuhan niyo niyo po yung movie. Hello po uli. Kanina po nakalaan niyo po kami lahat. So ngayon po sana po i-enjoy niyo po yung movie. Thank you. Yeah, it's hard to just, it's right here. Picture of the one that I need to see.